Hi guys, just going to reassemble the Kindle Touch Wi-Fi version. <clears throat> this is a Kindle Touch with the back cover off. This is the ribbon cable, which I th think goes to the screen here. I'm going to push that down into its socket. Back on its socket now. There's a little plastic cover that goes over this area here. I'm not sure what it's for. There it is. Not quite sure the purpose of that. So I think it's probably a blanking plate for the 3G module. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So that goes over there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a blanking plate for the, <coughs> for the 3G module. Um, so what I'll do is I'll Give you a guided tour. There's the battery connector. Um, here's the battery here, which uh, you've got the battery connector at the bottom. That goes on like that, it just sits in place. And it's screwed down by five screws two there, one there, and two at the top. One, two, after that's put on, then put the back cover back on. Here's the back cover. It's probably ABS or polycarbonate. I'd say probably polycarbonate. Oh, it is, yeah. If you look there in the light, <coughs> excuse me, look in the light, it says PC, which in plastic terms is polycarbonate. And there's some pads here, some foam pads to protect the inner workings. And there's the RFID tag there, which is a type. There you go. Anyway, <clears throat> what that is, some sort of Rotate the camera. Some sort of date code or something. Date code. Tracking number. Who knows? Oh, it's upside down still. Weird. Let me try and turn the case around. That's what I'll do. Quebec, Quebec Lima 120704TB. Do not know what on earth that is. So that's the back cover of the paper white. Oh, the paper white. Sorry, not the paper white. The touch, Kindle Touch. So what I'm going to do now is put the components back together and then screw it back up. Back in a second. So there we have it. There we have it. I've now reassembled the. Put the battery back in. As you can see, it's screwed down. One. Two, three, four. Oops, come on, focus. Five screws. And you see this ribbon connector here for the for the uh, e-ink display goes down and underneath the battery. And the blanking plate's back on. I think I must that must be the 3G module blanking plate. In a 3G version, there would be a 3G module and SIM in there, I think. So now, I've got to put the back cover back on. Kindle. So what you do, <coughs> let me show you. Okay. There's the top, there's the bottom. Get the cover, and you put it in top first. That's right. You ease that in with the tabs. <clears throat> That's right. There's four tabs. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Corresponding to these, one, two, three, 
four slots. So put that in. That's it. It's now in. See, do that again. So now push it up and press it down on all sides, like so. Hmm, maybe not. Do that again. Okay. What we have to do is a line at the top. Ah, okay. You have to push it about two thirds of the way down, I think. Make sure the slot the tabs are aligned in the slots here. Slot there, you see. So that's right, push it in. It's a bit of a fiddle. Yes, yeah, so I think what there is is one of the as one of the um, top t top tabs. There's ah, uh, there we go. There's two more. One there and one there on each side. One there and one there. Corresponding to those two and those two holes just in the middle here. This and this and this and this. So as long as, as long as the top half is engaged and pushed, you, you make sure it's a, the tabs are pushed down, then slide upwards and then click the back down. Back in a second. Welcome back, I was right, yes. You engage the four tabs on the sides. You see there's the bottom half here, the top half. There's about here and about here. There's two tabs each side as well as the top ones. You make sure they're all backed off this way about 5mm, push them down and then slide up. And then at the bottom, you click these in into place, like that. Do you see that? Other side, make sure you can see it first. Click. They're in, on the bottom, middle, and the sides. There you go. It's now all back together again. Show you under the magnifying lens. It's now completely sealed all the way along to the top completely sealed there we go all flush there's a slight gap in there, gap there but that's just a tolerance uh, issue with the casing it's actually sealed sealed shut so there we go guys Kindle paper Kindle uh, Keep saying paperwhite, Kindle Touch, resealed. Cheers.